And do you think that art, your your art, was a an outlet for you when it was slightly difficult in those sort of teenage years? Yes, I think that um, it was something that I held very dear. It was an ability to be able to draw and paint that I knew I had. I, of course, like a lot of creative people, thought my work was rubbish. I still think it's rubbish, by the way. I still don't think it's good enough. Whatever I do, I'm thinking it's not good enough. How do I know that? I'll tell you how I know. I have collected in my adult life Japanese art, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And when I look and study, as I have done, what the Japanese masters have produced, be it in their paintings, be it in their carvings, be it in their um, in their in their kimonos, be it in their <coughs> in their in their pottery. I realise that I've fallen so far short. They are the masters of the finest handiwork ever known to mankind. That's the standard that I've set myself all the time. I'm never going to reach it, of course, never. So that's why I beat myself up over it all the time, constantly. If one of the Japanese masters were to walk in, or Leonardo or Rembrandt, and say, do you know what, Dick, that's good, that would be unbelievable that would be worth more money than the whole world has got